Oh, Jim. You must have crept up quietly. I do, sometimes. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of money. If you're short, you can borrow some. No. No, I don't want none of it. You did help. Yeah, I did a bit. What happened to you? Me? Nothing. I haven't seen you for days. Not since you came here to help. No. Did you, uh, did you want me to come? The big news is Mrs. Crosswaite's invited you to tea. What for? Well, what you get invited to tea for? Eat and drink. And she wants to talk to you about Sharon. Well, I don't know anything about Sharon. Oh, come on, Jim. What was all that you told me about going out with her? She won't ask me about Sharon for. I don't know what happened to her. You mean you didn't go out with her? She wouldn't look at me, would she? Well, what about my father disturbing you? It was none of his business. He started it, not me. Started what? I told you, didn't I? He was looking. Jim, did my father do anything but look? Joe Sugden's got his eye on you, hasn't he? Jim, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> it's what I'm talking about. You ever had a fella? Don't be silly, Jim. I fancy you, you know. Uh, we could make a go of it, see what happens. I'm not Sharon, Jim. I can look after myself. You went half cocky. Uh, <coughs> I bet you've had a few going about, eh? <laughs> Did my father stop you trying it on with Sharon? I'm sorry, Jim. I did warn you. Come on. I've made you a cup of tea. I'm sorry I had to hurt you. There wasn't anything else I could do. Don't try anything, Jim. You won't get me this time. Question of being godless. I think most people want to believe in God. It's simply that they want to find their own relationship. And you don't think they can do that in the church? I don't know. The great trouble with the church is it's always prohibitive. It's it any conception of duty. That is man's duty to God first, and then to his neighbour. Always requires a definition. The church is always very careful to emphasize the positive rather than the negative aspect. Oh. Ah, yes, it's a very big argument. And I'd like to continue it again some other time if we can. Yes, I'd like to, but you're coming in now, here. Oh, well, it is... Uh... No, come on. I'd like your opinion. Now, that I'm never averse to give. <laughs> the hall's a bit mucky, but upstairs... Oh, yeah. Oh. 